This is Dr. Lou Sella, sport and performance psychologist. And the heavy formation, when you bring the tackle over, put the receiver out wide, put the backside receiver as the backside tackle, you do this basically to get a numbers advantage in your opponent because you bring a guy over. Most of the time, I don't care if it's high school or college, they don't bring a guy over or they slide somebody over, especially in an eight-man front. They'll take the safety, slide them over, and that's that's their answer to it. So you have a .5 advantage. Take advantage of it. Paul Johnson said always run to the numbers, and Air Force does the same thing. Numbers dictates everything. Numbers is more important than angles. Numbers is more important than field. Numbers determines everything. So now you don't see Air Force do this much, but if you wanted to run trap, and you wind up in a heavy formation, and they're just – they're going to give you a half-man advantage or a full-man advantage, and you want to run the trap, here's how you would do it. So you're in heavy. Receiver's going to crack the safety. He's going to get in front of the safety with his left knee, left hand, forward, northbound steps. You don't need to block the corner because it's, well, it's not a flank play. So you're going to take both tackles. You're going to veer them both inside to the mic. Whoever blocks the mic first, the next guy will end up blocking the backside corner. Guard's going to block down. Center's going to block down. They're both going to get their left knee through the crotch of the down player, left forearm to the stomach, forward northbound steps from there. Guard's going to open up at 90 degrees, replace the other guard trap, the first guy off the guard, helmet to the left, right forearm, and drive that player out of bounds. Backside receiver's going to block the spine at the center to cancel the backside B gap. Place an Amex in an arc, the second to the third level player. So the odds are he's going to end up on the safety, and you're going to get two on the safety. Backside A back's going to leave at the snap and run the pitch. Quarterback's going to take the snap, jump play side, and point the ball over at the center. B back is going to sprint through the ball, sprint through the play side up the guard, and bend likely off the tackles block if the mic takes the B back, and then sprint through the end zone. Quarterback will then step right foot, left foot, and then he'll turn to the line of scrimmage and carry out the fake through the D gap. You'd only want to do this if they gave you a half man advantage or greater, heavy trap. Versus, in this case, it's an under front. you got a shade 5-9, 3-5 the other way. But you're doing this because you have a half-man advantage. So that's heavy trap to the uh, numbers advantage side. And obviously, if they adjust the full person over, the gag is up. You're better off just getting back into the spread to run the trap. Always remember, you're running the trap when you run zone dive. And this guy right here is coming up the field. Because if he's coming up the field, it means the mic taking the B back and the reason you run the trap is to ear roll the mic and then run it you're gonna end up running off that block because he's gonna take the B back but he can't get to the B back because he's ear rolled that was the whole point of the trap from the beginning so that's that coaches if you want to win big in 2024 pick up the phone and give me a call my number's on the thumbnail of this video so is my website the triple option football academy and triple option football academy camps are going to show you how Go to tripleoptionfootball.com slash testimonials where you can see all the success stories that have come from the camps and the academy. See you later.